Hey guys, we're watching DShack Tech, and today I'll be doing a Mac app review of Pixelmator. It is a $15 image editing application for the Mac. Um, some say it is the Adobe Photoshop killer, but will its over simplicity be its Achilles Hill? Well, let's find out in today's Mac app review of Pixelmator. Pixelmator is an easy to use image editing application for the prosumer. It is not aimed for the true professionals, but aimed for the middle demographic of consumers who need a more advanced image editing tool without paying a ton for it, just like Photoshop or other applications. I personally use this application for all my graphics you see in my videos from the titles to my DShack Tech logos and my video thumbnails. I have been using this application for about a year now and I have to say it has worked perfectly for me in satisfying all my needs and producing new effects that I did not know were possible. I have also used Photoshop, although not for nearly as long, maybe for about a month, and so I compare the two accurately from a prosumer position, not a professional position. Pixelmator is an excellently designed application exclusively for OS X. It gives the usual range of tools ranging from the paintbrush, paint bucket, cropping and cutting, eraser, text, magnifier, shapes, lines, and a host of other common tools that are pretty much found in almost every single editing application. It features the layers workflow just like in Photoshop. It also has the powerful filters and professional grade color correction tools. And the tools are accessed through translucent boxes that you can move around or arrange on the screen to match your desired placement and position. Um, importing base images is extremely easy and exporting your final product in multiple formats is a snap. The simplicity of the application makes it accessible to almost all users with a very small amount of prior knowledge of image editing software necessary. The customization options in the view and window pull down menus is great and are constantly used. I've also noticed that Pixelmator does not take a lot to operate, running with a minimal stress on the CPU. I have also run this application with other applications like Final Cut Pro and Motion and have had little performance issues. So now you're probably wondering why you would go out and buy this application if it has all the same basic operating tools as any other image editing application. Well, first and foremost, the price point of $15 is crucial. Just the price point alone gives you a legitimate image editing alternative to the professional applications of Photoshop and others costing around $200. Some will say that Pixelmator is insufficient in its capabilities. Well, I'd say who really cares? Those who know the abilities of Photoshop and actually use professional editing software, then Pixelmator is probably not for them. In my humble opinion, I think Pixelmator can match Photoshop in a majority of functions. That's just for my limited exposure to Photoshop. For $15, you can get one heck of a photo editing application. So overall, I have to rate a 4.5 out of 5. Um, Pixelmator is excellently designed and definitely takes cues from the design of Mac applications and functions extremely well. Um, if you need any examples of what a regular person um, just like me can create, just look at the title animations and video thumbnails um, I create for my channel. It is extremely easy to use with shortcuts and preset dimensions that are easily changed and manipulated. It again is marketed for the prosumer market. I'm not completely capable for the professionals, but plenty for an advanced consumer. This being the demographic, I fit perfectly into that mold and have had no problems. I recommend this application for any Mac users who see themselves in that category. I still have a ton to learn with this application and still find hidden nuances and techniques that keep Pixelmator fresh and new. The only downside to Pixelmator is that it is exclusive to Mac OS X and can't be run on any other operating system. Well, that's pretty much it for this Mac app review of Pixelmator. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it if you guys did. Um, check out my channel, DShack Tech, for more videos just like this one. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I upload more in the future. Oh, and side note, be sure to stay tuned to my next couple of videos for an upcoming giveaway. It should be pretty awesome. Um, follow me on my social media networks. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys next time. My main monitor, as you can see, is that Final Cut running. I'm um, doing some video editing. Um, that is a 24 inch 1920 by 1080 um, screen. So I think it is HD or 1080p, I guess. It does give you a 1700 million hour battery that gives you up to eight more hours of internet usage on 3G, of talk time on 3G, and internet usage on LTE. Hope you guys think.